kind of did that. Period, I did that. Coronavirus! Yo, I look so bummy. Like, this is not cute. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a part of quarantine week, self-care week quarantine slash self-care week um as you guys know i'm gonna be doing a different self-care thing for every day of the week today's video is actually gonna be a diy lash extensions at home i'm excited like i'm really excited for this because i've never done this i've watched so many youtube videos on it i've seen other people do it I feel like it's something that I could do because I feel really comfortable with applying strip lashes and I've applied individual lashes before but the glue that comes in the kit is actually um, supposed to be worn like you can wear them up to two weeks so it has two it says up to two week wear so I'm excited this just doesn't seem like enough lashes though <laughs> this is gonna be really natural I need to see if I have another pair of another set of individuals because this is just not enough i should have gotten another one because you only get one row of short two rows of medium and one row of long if you guys are looking forward to this video then make sure you give it a thumbs up down below give me a thumbs up for quarantine week self-care week self-maintenance week um you know we coming together the brows are still here so you know on the last on the last video we did the brows the brows are still there i think okay they still looking good <laughs> okay um so yeah give me a thumbs up down below click the subscribe button and join the fam because you know you want to turn on your post notifications i love you guys and let's just get right into this video this is what the diy lash extension kit looks like it's from ardell lashes it comes with lashes adhesive remover and tweezers it comes with the adhesive and the remover the adhesive is the clear bottle and the remover is the green bottle okay so it says to take a piece of foil and your lash adhesive and just put a couple of drops of that onto the foil a row of short, two rows of medium, and one row of long. It's not in focus, but I'm just gonna put a drop. Why isn't it coming out? You have to make sure your lashes are completely clean and there's no makeup or oil in your lashes or on the skin around it. But I'm just going in with a clean spoolie. I clean the spoolie and I'm just combing through my lashes. I'm looking into, I'm looking down into a magnified mirror so I can really see my lashes.
Okay, so I did all of the smalls across and I only did, there was only seven because I did seven on this side and then seven on this side. So it's seven from the start to like right here. And I left a space in between all of the smalls and when I started the mediums, I placed them in the middle of all of the smalls and then I'm working my way back because there's two rows of mediums so I'm going to have a lot of medium lashes kind of just to fill my entire lash line back and forth so that's what I'm doing right now sometimes I pull my eyelid up a little so I can really see my lash line and make sure that I'm not sticking the lash on my lash line and I'm keeping it on my lashes but so far, this is what this eye is looking like with just smalls and mediums. I'm almost done with the mediums. I have like two more left and then I'm gonna start the longs. Okay, now I'm going in with the longs. I'm gonna start the longs on the end and I'm gonna work my way towards the front. Um, I'm gonna leave spaces in between because I want it to look volumized and piecey like this eye. So I have four more longs to stick on. Personally for my eye shape, I have very big and rounded eyes. So I like the volume for my lashes to be towards the center and a little bit shorter on the outside because it just makes my eyes pop even more. Um, so I tried to do that. I do have a little bit more length on the ends. So the next thing I did, I actually found some Ardell Demi Wispies that I had in um, my makeup stash and I actually cut them up. So I did apply um, I applied one and a half lash because I still have half of one of these left. Um, but I applied one and a half Ardell W Wispies on top of the lashes that came in the kit because you could just leave your lashes like this. Like this is very cute. This is like more of a natural lash. But I like volume lashes. I want fullness. I want to feel like Instagram baddie like I want to feel like Ari <laughs> or Saweetie like I need volume lashes so that's why I went ahead and I added the Ardell Demi Wispies um I just cut up the lash because I don't know if you guys can see I'm gonna hold it up for you guys okay there we go so there's like a this has a clear invisible band so I'm able to cut up the lash and just get the knots from the Ardell Dummy Wispies. And this really like made a difference when I added this. If you guys can see that, they like taper in on the inner corner and they're a little bit longer towards the middle and then they kind of taper off towards the end. Like I said, I'm gonna be using this, the lash in the same direction. So the shortest to the longest in the middle to the tapered off kind of medium length on the end so that it can give me the same look that I have on this eye. So let me just zoom you guys in so you can see that. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that.
I'm gonna go in with one more lash. I'm not gonna use the whole thing. So you see how for this eye, for my right eye, I only used maybe like just the end. So I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna use just these pieces for my left eye because I just feel like I just need a little bit more volume right in this area, but I love the blend. And I got some stuck on my actual lid. You don't wanna do that. I got some stuck because this is the first eye that I did, but this eye I did way better. I actually didn't get any stuck on my skin. Everything is below my lash line. Like it's all on my lashes. I don't feel anything on my actual lid, which is really good. And yeah, these look great. Like the brows, the lashes, the edges. Sis, we making a full transformation this week. Like, I hope you know. We're all doing it DIY. We're all doing it ourselves. You can do it at home. During quarantine, you can do it for yourself, sis. Okay, so, I mean, <laughs> I let my lashes dry a little bit before I came back to you guys. <laughs> Obviously, it was a success. I mean, they look the fuck good. <laughs> let me zoom out. But, oh my god, I'm so, 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 so pleased. Some tips that I'm going to give you guys, because I like to give my tips at the end, because I know them now. Like I said, you don't want to stick your lashes on your skin. You will feel it, it hurts, it feels very uncomfortable. The skin on your eyelid is very thin, so you don't want to stick the little lash extensions onto your skin. You're sticking them, you're layering them on top of your actual lashes. So make sure you're doing that. Make sure you have a clean spoolie and you're combing through um, after you let the glue dry for like maybe like two minutes it takes about two to three minutes for the glue to dry i couldn't get the glue to actually pour out of the bottle so i had my bottle laying to the side like this on my little table and i was dipping the lash into the glue and then i was putting it on my eye and that worked for me it doesn't have a smell and it actually doesn't irritate my eyes when i first opened it like i got the initial like smell of a glue but then when i was actually placing them on my eyes right i didn't smell anything and my eyes weren't irritated they may look a little pink now because it's literally like two o'clock in the morning <laughs> it's 1 45 <laughs> And I'm up doing my lashes, but honestly, it's quarantine and who cares? Like, kit I believe is like $7.99 or $8.99. Got it from um, my local drugstore, or maybe like a third of the bottle. So I have like two thirds left. I would definitely get some like some of your favorite not like knotless and invisible band um, strip lashes, and just have those on the side if you want to cut them up and add them to your lashes because it'll just give it like a fuller looking set. Came out so freaking cute. I am curious to see how long these are gonna last. I'm gonna definitely be updating you guys. Yes. I kinda did that, period, I did that. They look so good. They look so good. And they're like on there, you know? They're all so cute. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below. You can go ahead and click that subscribe button and join the fam. We almost at 24K. We just hit 23K like a couple weeks ago. So we almost at 24K. Like I'm really hyped. I love you guys so much. So make sure you click that subscribe button and you join the fam and you turn on your post and notifications. Don't forget you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you and I can't wait to see what's next upload. Bye.